Uh, if you look there, there's Venice there, and there's the um, Austrian Heartlands just there, and Bavaria just there as well. Uh, and I'm hoping if they declare war on me, if Bavaria declare war on me, I can call on Venice to help. Maybe, just maybe, um, I'll get support. But also, it might make Bavaria reticent about attacking me right away, give me a chance to build up a bit. You never know your luck, dear. Okay, so... Uh, I want to see if I've got any money spare. Yes, I have. I've got some money spare. Now, I've got some plantations available as uh, a backup, just in case I hadn't spent all my money. So not only do I have a list of things to do, I also have things that I can spend money on if I've got any money left over as well. So I'm going to have a sugar warehouse in there. Oh, I've only got 754 left, so I really don't think there's going to be anything else that I can get. There was a coffee warehouse in Guatemala as well, so I'm not going to be able to get that. But anyway, that's the end of the turn. Uh, winter 1768. Let's see who hates me the most now and who wants to attack me because I fully expect they're all going to be queuing up to have a go just like they did with the United Provinces when the campaign first started on hard and everybody's having a go. But anyway, let's see what happens. Well, this comes as no surprise, of course. Um, it's not in my favour. I would lose this on an auto-resolve, I would imagine. Um, and I'm going to fight the battle, come back to you, show you the results. I'd left the uh, battle length on that on 40 minutes. Oh, gosh, it was over within six, seven minutes. I was just sitting through watching my mortars miss his artillery all the time. And it went down as a heroic victory. Um, he's lost 1,242, as you can see. I lost 360. I don't even know lost that much really, but um, anyhow, there we go, good victory. Oh, of course I did. It's because of these guys, isn't it? The, um, the final column citizen. Oh no, here they come, and I've got the battle end set to 40 minutes. Oh no, 80 minutes of hanging around today. Um, right, okay, my allies. Uh, I like, you see, I can't select. You know, I just ask them all to come in on my side, don't I? Anyway, he's got Westphalia perhaps coming in on his side. Let's hope Westphalia not come in. I am going to ask Venice to come in on my side, though, see what happens. Refuse to join my side, rotten swines. We've only just started. I don't really want Marathas to join in. Anyway, at least um, Westphalia have joined in. That's the main thing. Now, uh, you can see how the order is important now. Um, 2, 4, 6, 7, 14, 16. 17, 18, 19, 20. So they'll come in in that order there. And I've got 40 minutes now, so there'll be plenty of time for them to get there as well. Look at all that lot. Wouldn't it have been nice to have had some light cavalry in there as well? So when his troops are all occupied inside the fort, we can just run around taking these. Ho oh, hum. Anyway, these things are meant to try us. He's got uh, quite a lot of infantry here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nine lots of infantry, he's got a lot of guards, six lots of guard as well. So, uh, where are we? Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got eight against nine, and he's got superior troops as well. But, uh, might make it a little bit more interesting. Well, another decisive victory. Oh, 
I've got to show the actual results of that battle there, other than decisive victory. Um, you'll see the troops anyway when I go and replenish them, but um, anyway, it really was a very decisive victory. So, um, trade agreement cancelled Bavaria, and I suppose that should be such a surprise. Workers riot in England, it's not a surprise either. Let's just repair that while I'm thinking about it. Uh, that's a whole lot better as well, isn't it? Um, is that ironworks? Surely it should have put me on there, shouldn't it? Where are we? It's put me here. Where is the ironworks? How strange. Can't be in there, surely. Ah, there it is. Right, OK, might as well just repair that straight away. We've got plenty of money to spare. Yeah, it's over 38,000 even after doing that. So, OK, that's that. Uh, units recruited. Yep, thank you very much. Uh, fleet arrived. Oh, good. Right, I'm going to move that up straight away. And I'm uh, going to get this over here. Oops. Might be a bit late now, to be honest. I think we've probably taken all the attacks from the... Uh, Austrians, but anyway, we shall see. Blue, that means um, two screens. So we've got green, red, and then blue. So it's three turns before it gets there anyway. And construction report, yep, thank you very much. Um, people are dying. Protestant missionary. Uh, Protestant missionary. Crikey, I'm losing loads of them, aren't I? Oh, and an admiral. Duh, is that one of my good chaps as well? I wonder if it's him. Oh, yeah. Oh, I lost a really, really good quality admiral there. Natural seamen, everything. <sighs> oh, well. Nah, these things are sent to try us. Anyway, we're in the uh, summer of 1769. Well, it's time to put into place the first stages of the European clean-up operation. So, I'll show you how that's going to happen. Yeah, sounds like a silly thing, doesn't it, when everybody hates you, to suddenly declare war on somebody who's uh, at least left you alone for so long. But unfortunately, they do stick out rather irritatingly right into the middle of my European nations. And they are very, very close to Amsterdam. And they prevented me from developing my economies around the Rhineland. I shall be taking lots and lots of mortars over with me. I don't think I'll want this chap here. Um, we're going to cut out his army and we're going to go straight for the jugular. The idea is that if we can get rid of Cologne, all those armies will disappear. I won't then have to fight them and then I can feel much happier about developing my economy. Uh, obviously there aren't enough men there really to be able to take that. I might have got away with it, but not really. Um, so I'm going to add some more. How many more do I need? Um, to be honest, I've just fought those. They're mainly artillery now, not much infantry, so I don't need to leave very much behind. Let's see how many I've got in there, how many spaces I've got left, sorry. Three, six. I've got six left, so that's 14, isn't it? So I could take 14 over there. So if I get... Um, uh, we got... I'll leave those behind because I've got plenty of those in there now. It's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Could take... Oh, press the wrong button. Did a control instead of a shift. So that's 13. Take that one out. That makes 12. Um, 13, 14 would leave me only two behind and a mortar to defend it. But like I said, I don't think he's got very much there that can really attack it. Uh, once I've cleared these out of the way, I've left something in there as well anyway, I can move those over to help. I think that's probably the best plan. These are within reach. I've just raised some new light cavalry in here. Maybe I could bring the light cavalry across to help as well. 